As we looked at this political thing where it was certain a part of Republican, certain part of Democrat, and we looked at liberalism and conservatism, I'm, I'm an extremely conservative person, politically and all otherwise, because I believe the Bible's the Word of God and all of those things and all that it entails. But did you know that the conservatives of Jesus' day were the religious leaders? They were the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. And in my heart, embarrassingly, I'm a Pharisee through and through. And so I need to be careful when I have these arguments with people, when I talk to people about these things that matter for only a short time. And I want to be right, and I want to win the argument. But greater than that, I want to become all things to all men that, by, that I might by all means win some. I want to see people one to the Lord. And it mean, if it means that I have to lay down my political ideology and lay down my rights so that they can like a rug wipe their feet on me so be it to see them in heaven is what I desire and so I think with that we need to be careful don't major in the minors be careful this world is never going to be the same. this country is never going to be the same homosexuality will never be in the closet it will never be in the closet anymore we're living in different times Lord, how can I best love that homosexual that has come out of the closet, is queer, is as gay as it comes, and really annoys me deep inside, Lord? I need something supernatural to do that. I need you to do that through me because there's no way, growing up the way I grew up, seeing what I saw, no way I'm going to be able to do that. Lord, may they be the most loved gay person on this planet by me. If you've brought them into my life, may I love them with the love that you've loved me. And, and, and it's a different time. And how is the church going to meet the need of the present age that we live in? An absolute dependence upon God for everything that we need. And we need to lay down that pharisaical attitude, that holier-than-thou attitude, that idea, that understanding that we think we've got it all figured out. Guess what? You don't and neither do I. You and I are a work in progress. And we need to depend on the Lord and look to the Lord. Amen?